1130 reporting accidents. Fraser Highway eastbound at 168th, also 140th and 88th Avenue. We do have a collision in the right lane, 176th Street, southbound at 97th Avenue. A new collision, Kensington overpass around Highway 1 and traffic problems on the Burnaby New West border. Uh, we do have traffic lights that are out. Kingsway and 10th Avenue, as well as a stall. Highway 91 westbound halfway through the S-curve on the left lane shoulder. Taking a look at some of our major routes, beginning with the Alex Fraser Bridge, a busy, busy spot. As per usual, we're seeing uh, the 91 back to around 72nd, looking ahead to the Iron Workers Memorial Bridge. Nothing overly unusual, certainly looking at busy conditions, but the wet roads often slow things down as well. Give yourself a bit of extra time as you're heading out this morning. Uh, Massey Tunnel, this is another busy spot. We're seeing it back to around uh, the uh, Highway 17 overpass, continuing to see steady conditions as well for the Lionsgate Bridge. Looks like there's a problem. Okay, so we've got two lanes south. It looks like the left lane traffic may be stopped. I do see flashing lights and everyone is pushed off to the right. So uh, we're not exactly sure what's happening there, but we'll keep you posted. Obviously, if that is one of your routes, you'll want to stay right if you are heading southbound. Northbound appears to be moving along just fine. And for the Oak Street Bridge, we are seeing traffic moving along uh, slow, but it's moving along fine. So we do have some warnings to tell you about. We have lots of rain out there, but no rainfall warnings. We have wind warnings, so it's definitely going to be a stormy day for Metro Vancouver, Greater Victoria, Sunshine Coast, as well as the Southern Gulf Islands, East and West Vancouver Islands, southeasterly winds, 50 to 70 kilometers an hour. They'll shift to southwesterlies this afternoon. With all that moisture, that will translate into lots of snow for Whistler, uh, local mountains as well, but not seeing that warning criteria. Whistler, though, you'll see about 15 centimetres today, an additional five over the overnight period. So about 20 centimetres accumulation by tomorrow morning. And watch out for some of the highways again heading up to the mountains. We are expecting winter driving conditions, so keep it slow. Uh, we're in for a break in the five-day forecast, but we have to get through today first. And it will be definitely a stormy kind of day. Three degrees right now in Vancouver. Hope as well as Penticton, zero in Kamloops, one in Kelowna, two degrees right now in Squamish and still holding steady at four degrees in Port Hardy. So we do have an area of low pressure right there and then a pretty massive frontal system. So that's affecting our weather for today. We'll continue to see again moisture and uh, wind and snow again in the mountains. So just a stormy kind of a wintry day and incidentally winter arrives on Friday. So we're getting into that seasonal kind of weather. Eight degrees today in Vancouver. So that is above seasonal. We'll see again winds start to pick up and then they'll die down around midnight. Same forecast for most areas. Fraser Valley highs anywhere between six and eight degrees. We'll continue to see seven degrees in Nanaimo, Duncan, windy, wet, eight degrees in Victoria. And we are looking again at snow in Whistler with that snowfall warning. Four degrees in Squamish, Powell River, Seashelt, seven degrees. And we are looking again at sunshine for tomorrow. So we should catch a bit of a break. That 40% chance of showers likely in the morning. Food Bank Friday, we might get wet, not to worry, you won't get wet. Uh, we have a drive through for you, we'll get wet, that's all right. Uh, we'll continue to see more rain on the weekend. Uh, temperatures though into Monday, right around seven degrees. As we go to break, we have a fire truck on Stanley Park Causeway. One lane southbound on the Lionsgate Bridge right now, so that is going to be causing issues. We will keep you posted on what's happening there. Stay tuned though, you're watching Breakfast Television, 739.